Question 1. In a given classification table, if the threshold is set at 1, what would be the sensitivity and specificity of the model? Both are 1. Both are 0. Sensitivity is 1 and specificity is 0. Sensitivity is 0 and specificity is 1. The answer is Sensitivity is 0 and specificity is 1. In a given classification table, as the threshold increases, the sensitivity declines, and the specificity increases. If the threshold is 1 then the sensitivity is 0 and specificity is said to be 1. Question 2. What is the advantage of zero-adjusted inverse Gaussian regression? It models claim size. It models claims in real time. It models claims variance. It models precedented claims. The answer is. It models claim size. The advantage found in the setup of the zero-adjusted inverse Gaussian regression is that it models the sizes for claims unconditionally. The setup allows explanatory variables to put an effect on each of the probability for a claim pi, for the mean claim size mu, and for the dispersion of claim size sigma. Question 3. If in the orientation of the axes of the receiver operating characteristic curve, a value near zero on the x-axis, what possibly could be the outcome on the y-axis? Zero value on the y-axis. Low value on the y-axis. Negative value on the y-axis. High value on the y-axis. The answer is Low value on the y-axis. On the rock, the specificity, generally, is plotted on the horizontal axis, and sensitivity on the vertical axis. With this orientation on the axis, if there is a value of zero on the x-axis that shows high specificity, it implies there should be a low value on the y-axis that shows low sensitivity. Question 4. From which value does the receiver operating characteristic curve start? The curve start point is at 1, 0, and end point is at 1, 0. The curve start point is at 0, 1, and end point is at 0, 1. The curve start point is at 1, 1, and end point is at 0, 0. The curve start point is at 0, 0, and end point is at 1, 1. The answer is the curve start point is at 0, 0, and end point is at 1, 1. All rock receiver operating characteristic curves start at 0, 0, and end at 1, 1, as these points correspond with the threshold probabilities of 0 and 1. Question 5. What does the rock receiver operating characteristic curve do? It plots the predicted claims against the actual claims. It plots the number of groups against the number of cases. It plots the sensitivity against specificity. It plots the maximum likelihood against the deviance. The answer is. It plots the sensitivity against specificity. The rock which is known as the receiver operating characteristic curve plots the sensitivity against specificity for each threshold. Question 6. Identify the qualified private charities, veterans organizations, government entities, fraternal orders, private non-operating foundations. The answer is. Describe uncertain situations. Probability functions are a mathematical tool to describe uncertain situations or where outcomes are subject to change. Question 7. Which of the below is not subjected to passive activity rules? C corporations, S corporations, personal service corporations, estates and trusts. The answer is. The curve is in the top left-hand corner. 
a rock curve of good quality rises quickly to one, in the orientation, the further a curve is to the top left-hand corner, the better it's said to be its predictive ability. Question 8. Logistic regression is implemented in which program out of these? Proc age mid PT. Proc zag. Proc gen mod. Proc gaussian. The answer is PROC GEN MOD. Logistic regression is implemented in PROC GEN MOD using DIST equals BIN or binomial. Question 9. What is the difference between ordinal response models and nominal response models in more than two categories? Ordinal have a natural ordering, nominal do not have a natural ordering. Ordinal have three categories, nominal have four categories. Ordinal have grouped cases, nominal have ungrouped cases. Ordinal can have a classification curve, nominal do not have a classification curve. The answer is Ordinal have a natural ordering, nominal do not have a natural ordering. Ordinal response models are those in which response categories have a natural ordering but the nominal response models are those in which response categories have no natural ordering. Question 10 The Bernoulli distribution admits only two possible outcomes, 0 and 1, what would it denote if the given outcome is a success? y equals 0 y equals minus 1 y equals 1 y equals x. The answer is y equals 1. The Bernoulli distribution admits only two possible outcomes, which are coded as 0 or 1 and hence omega equals 0, 1, the event y equals 1 is called a success, the other, y equals 0, a failure. Question 11. The HII are called leverages, or hat matrix diagonals. What according to your understanding are leverages used for? It is used to check the difference between the explanatory variables to the other variables. It is used for leveling the explanatory variable to the other variables. It is used to correct preferred data errors. It is used to diagnose subtle data errors. The answer is It is used to diagnose subtle data errors. Leverages provide a useful mechanism for diagnosing subtle data errors that are left undetectable by using simple checks on single explanatory variables. Question 12. In an added variable plot, it is useful for the detection of a continuous explanatory variable present in the model. What does the random scatter point indicate for the given variable? It should not be included in the model. It should be repeated in the model. It should be included in the model. It should be transformed in the model. The answer is. It should not be included in the model. A random scatter indicates that the given variable should not be in the model. Question 13. What is the easy way to detect a nonlinear relationship between the two given variables? Random scatter. Added variable plot. Partial residual plot. Linear plot. The answer is partial residual plot. A nonlinear relationship between the two given variables is more easily detected with a partial residual plot. Question 14. What is the confidence interval around the estimate used for? To indicate moments. To indicate dispersion parameter. To indicate proper intervals. To indicate precision. The answer is. To indicate precision. The use of the confidence interval around the estimate is to indicate precision. It requires the sampling distribution of mu. Question 15 Which are the predictive usefulness of a model from the following? Event, and, non-event. 
binomial and homogeneous, productivity and result, sensitivity and specificity, the answer is, sensitivity and specificity, the predictive usefulness of a model is categorized using the following two measures, one is known to be sensitivity which is the relative frequency of predicting an event when an event does take place. The second one is specificity which is the relative frequency of predicting a non-event when there is no event. Question 16. It is said that one way of assessing the fit of a given model is to compare it to the model with the best possible fit. How is the best fit obtained? In a homogeneous model. In a model with the most confidence intervals. In a heterogeneous model. In a saturated model. The answer is, in a saturated model, the best fit will be obtained when the number of the parameters is similar to the number of observations, which in other words is called a saturated model. A model that is proposedly saturated will ensure that there is full flexibility in fitting theta i. Question 17. Which one out of these cases would supposedly have high leverage? That has an unusual combination of the explanatory variables. That has a fat-tailed explanatory variable. That has a usual combination of the explanatory variables. That is a recurring explanatory variable. The answer is. That has an unusual combination of the explanatory variables. A case that is an unusual combination of the explanatory variables will have high leverage. Question 18. It is said that the way of examining the performance of a model for binary data is via a classification table. How do you think the binary data is classified? The cases are classified in binary or integers according to the probabilities. The cases are classified in 1 or 0 according to the probabilities. The cases are classified as event or non-event according to the probabilities. The cases are classified in real time or other time according to the probabilities. The answer is The cases are classified as event or non-event according to the probabilities. The probabilities that are denoted as pi i are computed in each case i is classified as an event or non-event depending on whether pi i is greater than or less than a given threshold. Question 19. Added variable plots are a great tool to detect whether a continuous explanatory variable should be present in the model. What does the linear plot indicate for the given variable? It should be repeated in the model. It should be included in the model. It should be transformed in the model. It should not be included in the model. The answer is. It should be included in the model. A linear plot means that the given variable should be included in the model, that is that the relationship between the two variables is linear, given the other explanatory variables. Question 20. If the threshold is set at zero in a given classification table, what should be the expected sensitivity and specificity of that model? Both are the same at one. Both are the same at zero. Sensitivity is 0 and specificity is 1. Sensitivity is 1 and specificity is 0. The answer is. Sensitivity is 1 and specificity is 0. In a classification table, both sensitivity and specificity are near 1. If the threshold is said to be set at 0 then the sensitivity is 1 and specificity is 0. As the threshold increases, the sensitivity declines, and the specificity increases. Question 21. When the person found smoking is assessed as follows, x1 the age at which smoking commenced, x2 the number of years since smoking initiation, and x3 the current age, which means x3 equals x1 plus x2. What type of dependence is found in these explanatory variables? Divergent. Lateral. Collinear. Straight. The answer is. Collinear. 
the three variables x1, x2, and x3 explain the same as any two of the variables, which means that the individual effects of each of the three variables cannot be assessed and so the variables are called to be perfectly collinear. Question 22. How do you best describe statistical modeling? Interpreting a model. Making new variables. Defining a new variable. Interpreting a true model. The answer is interpreting a model. Statistical modeling is the art or science of designing, fitting, and interpreting a model. A statistical model helps to find out the answers to the following categories, which variables are predictive of the response, and what is the appropriate scale for their inclusion, etc. Question 23. In which situation out of the following, is it acceptable to remove an explanatory variable from a final model? When the effect of an explanatory variable is similar to the effects of other explanatory variables. When the effect of an explanatory variable is consistent in relativity to the effects of other explanatory variables. When the effect of an explanatory variable is large relative to the effects of other explanatory variables. When the effect of an explanatory variable is small relative to the effects of other explanatory variables. The answer is when the effect of an explanatory variable is small relative to the effects of other explanatory variables. When the effect of an explanatory variable is statistically significant but small relative to the effects of other explanatory variables, it should be removed from the final model, the magnitude of the effect of the variable, and whether its statistical significance translates into a practically useful effect or relativity is useful for a variable to be mentioned in the final model. Question 24 The Bernoulli distribution has how many type S of possible outcomes? 0 and 1, 0 and 1 and 2, 0, 1. The answer is 0 and 1. The Bernoulli distribution shows only two possible outcomes, usually coded as 0 or 1, and that's why omega equals 0, 1. When the event is y equals 1, it is called a success, and if it is y equals 0, it is called a failure. Question 25. What do many programs for linear modeling do, when they encounter perfect linear dependence in variables? Make changes in the given variables. Include one or more variables. Exclude one or more variables. Use another program with nonlinear settings. The answer is Exclude one or more variables. They exclude one or more variables to ensure the perfect collinearity disappears that is why alternatively, the software may crash or report nonsensical results. Question 26. Why do you think the problem arises in the data being inconsistent or invalid? Because of non-consistent recording. Because the recordings are unbiased. Because of the consistent recordings because the recordings are biased. The answer is because of non-consistent recording. Those who collect or enter information may not be aware to record the statistical uses as it is opposed to the accounting uses for which the data will be utilized. There may not be the need for consistent recording according to them, across all records. Designers of the data recording system may not be aware of the myriad of cases that need to be accommodated that is why the problem occurs. Question 27. For finding a parametric form of the relationship, when should banding or categorizing the explanatory variable be used? When the relationship between the explanatory variable and response is not linear. When the relationship between the explanatory variable and response is collateral. When the relationship between the explanatory variable and response is divergent. When the relationship between the explanatory variable and response is not lateral. The answer is when the relationship between the explanatory variable and response is not linear. When the relationship between the explanatory variable and response is not linear, an alternative approach for finding a parametric form of the relationship that can be used is to band or categorize the explanatory variable. 
Question 28. How is the relationship between two continuous variables explored in the data exploration process? Scatterplot. Logarithms. Splines. Logits. The answer is scatterplot. The relationship between two continuous variables is explored with a scatterplot. A scatterplot is sometimes included with a third category, marking it into a variable done by using color and different symbols to mark the complete picture. Question 29. Which matters out of these should be resolved before statistical modeling? Missing values should be assumed zero. Missing or invalid values should be resolved before it. Missing entries should be eliminated from it. Missing values should be assumed 1. The answer is. Missing or invalid values should be resolved before it. Problems such as missing values and inconsistent or invalid recording must be resolved before statistical modeling. Question 30. Which type of variables are called risk factors? Dependent variable. Restrictive variable. Explanatory variable. Response variable. The answer is. Explanatory variable. In generalized linear modeling, the variability in one variable is explained by the changes in one or more other variables. The dependent or response variable is being explained by the variables, that is known for explaining, and are thus known as the explanatory variables. These are also known as the risk factors or the drivers of risk. Question 31. What do you understand by Bernoulli variables, which are also known as binary variables? Indicate values in an interval of the real line. It is a non-categorical variable. Indicates the fixed ratio of the attribute. Indicate the presence or absence of the attribute. Indicate the seven values of the different attributes. The answer is. Indicate the presence or absence of the attribute. Bernoulli variables are also known as binary variables indicate the presence or absence of an attribute, or occurrence or non-occurrence of an event of interest such as a claim or fatality, and they are often coded as 0 and 1. Question 32 Generalized linear modeling is a methodology used for modeling relationships, which type of data does it analyze? Non-normal data Original data Normal data Analytical data The answer is Non-normal data Generalized linear modeling GLM, is a method used for the modeling of relationships between different variables, for example, it generalizes the normal linear model, by straightening some of its restrictive assumptions, and it also provides methods for the analysis of non-normal data. Question 33. What is the estimator of VAR M theta? The overall claims data for the collective risks. The mean of the individual risk sample variance. Bias correction. Collective variances of the risks. The answer is CBIA's correction. The estimator of VAR M theta is the sample variance of the risk means corrected for bias. The correction is a reduction given by the estimator of E S2 theta divided by N, the number of years data for each risk that is available. Question 34. What do you mean by estimator of E S2 theta? The mean of the individual risk sample variances. The mean of the claims data for all the risks. The sample variance of the risk. The numbers of the year's data for each risk. The answer is. The mean of the individual risk sample variances. 
the usual estimators of the structural parameters have E m theta E s2 theta and var m theta. The estimator of E s2 theta is known to be the mean of the individual risk sample variances. Question 35. What is the estimator of E m theta? The overall mean of the claims data. The addition of the claims data. The number of years of the data. The addition of the individual risk simple variances. The answer is the overall mean of the claims data. The estimator of E m theta means that it is the overall mean of the claims data for all the risks in the collective. Question 36 What does the large value of E s2 theta imply? Low credibility from the particular risk. High credibility from the particular risk. Credibility factor is the same for all the risks. Small variability from year to year within risks. The answer is. Low credibility from the particular risk. A large value of E s2 theta implies large variability from year to year within risks. This implies low credibility for the data from the particular risk concerned and implies a low value of credibility. Question 37. What do you mean by the continuous variables? Interval variables. The claim is above 4.5 million. The claim is below 4.5 million. The claim keeps on decreasing. The answer is interval variables. Continuous variables are those called interval variables to indicate they can take on values anywhere in an interval of the real line. Question 38. What do you mean when the risks are heterogeneous? Different risks have similar parameters. Different risks have different risk parameters. Fixed risks have different risk parameters. Different risks have no risk parameters. The answer is. Different risks have different risk parameters. When different risks have different risk parameters, the combination is known to be heterogeneous, which means being different. Question 39 Insurance data is usually organized in a two-way array, which can be identified as legal documentation and historical records, claims and risks, cases and variables, insurer and the insured. The answer is cases and variables. Insurance data are organized into two types of information, generally known as cases and variables. Cases include policies, claims, individuals, or accidents. Variables include the level of injury, sex, dollar cost, whether there is legal representation, and many others. Question 40. What does the large value of VAR M theta imply? Credibility premium is not identified. The credibility is the same for all the factors. The low value of the credibility factor. Data from other risks are not relevant. The answer is. Data from other risks are not relevant. On the opposite of a large value of E s2 theta implication result, the large value of var m theta implies that data from other risks are not very relevant or are not informative or do not have a reliable source which in turn implies high credibility for the data from the individual risk concern, and therefore there is a high value of the credibility factor. Question 41. What is the correct definition for a premium? When the policy of conditions is defined by the insured to the insurer. When an insured approves to leave out benefits in order to get insured. When an insurer provides insurance cover against specified risks through a contract. When the insurer provides certain benefits to the insurance company. The answer is. When an insurer provides insurance cover against specified risks through a contract. 
premium is the particular amount that is paid over a period of time to the insurer by the insured for covering his risk. For taking this risk, the insurer charges a fixed amount called the premium. The premium includes different variables like the age of the insured, the type of employment he has and his medical conditions, etc. Question 42. Which of the when following statements that the premium charge financial, financial ratios? By the insurer to financial ensure the ratios are a comparison of four different know? numbers P taken from financial S. statements. The insurer is they making provide no the investor with provision for the risk to help make their informed decision. The insurer is making statistical provision and not entirely precise expected value. There are two types of the most insurer useful is not aware of the pure financial value. ratios. The insurer is measuring the claims for the risks that exceed their expected value. The answer is, the insurer is making no statistical provisions when the risks exceed their expected value. It means that the insurer is charging only the pure premium and making no provision for statistical variation in the risk, in particular for outcomes in which the risk exceeds its expected value. Question 43. What are these three quantities, E, M, theta, E, S, 2, theta, and VAR, M, theta, referred to as estimator parameters, quantity parameter, structural parameters, lemma parameters? The answer is structural parameters. In lemma, the estimator involves three quantities, E, M, theta, E, S, 2, theta, and VAR, M, theta, which are estimated from collateral data. These quantities are referred to as the three structural parameters. Question 44. What do you understand by the important branch of actuarial science called credibility theory? It is the science for counting the credits given by a bank. It is for an actuary to price a risk claim. It is for setting a premium for risk. It is for holding on to claims at times of inflation. The answer is, it is for setting a premium for risk. The credibility theory consists of applications of Bayesian statistics in a general insurance context. The methods are concerned with setting a premium for risk, taking into account the recent claims experience of the risk and usually that of other comparable risks. Question 45 The zero utility principle is also known as ZUP, requires different pieces of knowledge for its usage, which out if this can you authenticate with it? Knowledge of the insurer's initial wealth. Knowledge of the insured's initial wealth. Knowledge of the insurer's billing history. Knowledge of the insured's billing history. The answer is Knowledge of the insurer's initial wealth. The use of ZUP requires a knowledge of the insurer's utility function and non-exponential form utility functions also require knowledge of the insurer's initial wealth. It also requires knowledge of certain expectation properties of the random variable S. Question 46 When it is supposed that the premium charged each year by the insurer to insure the risk is P, what does this statement denote cheeky smiley face, the insurer asks for more than the pure premium? The cumulative surplus on the business will not have an impact on the initial surplus. The cumulative surplus on the business will become positive. The cumulative surplus on the business will become negative. The answer is The cumulative surplus on the business will become negative. This denotes that the insurer is unwisely charging less than the expected risk, and the cumulative surplus on the business will eventually become negative regardless of the initial surplus. Question 47 The exponential premium principle that is also known as EP, requires different pieces of knowledge for its usage, which out if this can you authenticate with it? The knowledge regarding the first moment and second moment of a random variable. The knowledge regarding the moment generating function of a random variable. The knowledge regarding the insurer's utility function. The knowledge regarding the first moment of a random variable. The answer is The knowledge regarding the moment generating function of a random variable. The use of the exponential premium principle EP requires knowledge of the moment generating function of S. Question 48 
what is referred to as the pure premium, the measured premium, the expected mean risk, the agreed contract, the calculated risk. The answer is the expected mean risk. The expected mean risk is referred to as the pure premium for the risk and is denoted by E S. Question 49. What type of method is referred to as the empirical Bayesian method? Bayesian credibility theory plus distributional assumptions minus collateral data. Bayesian credibility theory minus distributional assumptions minus collateral data. Bayesian credibility theory plus distributional assumptions plus collateral data. Bayesian credibility theory minus distributional assumptions plus collateral data. The answer is Bayesian credibility theory minus distributional assumptions plus collateral data. To estimate the premium for risk, the risk is set in a collective of comparable risks for which has been relevant data over the past several years. The information from the collateral data enables us to proceed using a similar approach to the Bayesian method, but with the advantage that allows the collateral data to provide the information on between risk data. The method is known as an empirical Bayesian method. Question 50. When it is supposed that the premium charged each year by the insurer to insure the risk is P, what does this statement denote? P greater than E, S. The insurer is charging more than the pure premium. The insurer is charging more than the premium limit. The insurer is charging less than the premium limit. The insurer is charging less than the pure premium. The answer is. The insurer is charging more than the pure premium. It means that the insurer is wisely charging more than the pure premium, but the cumulative surplus on this business may at some point become negative. 